Hi, and I wanted to uh, talk you through a pay-per-click campaign, give you some tips on how you can improve your campaign, and uh, a friend of mine has a company that carries out high-end garage conversions, um, and so I thought it would be good to use uh, a non-legal site to give you some ideas and help you to think around the campaign instead of getting stuck straight into the middle of it. Um, so I'm in the pay-per-click, uh, I'm at the landing page for the pay-per-click campaign, there's just one campaign running at the moment here, campaign number one, so let's go in there and I'll immediately talk you through the sort of things I'm looking at um, and I'll be looking at, there's just one ad group in here and th let's start there by saying that we've got a garage conversions ad group, that's the only thing we're running um, and that immediately tells me that there's opportunities here because uh, if we're doing um, garage conversions there must be opportunity to split out the w keywords in that group, the various different keywords relating to anything garage conversion, um, anything to do with the garage conversion, we could split it into smaller groups which will make it more successful and I'll explain why now. So let's go into the group and uh, garage conversions, you can see there's a fair few keywords down here. Um, some have been paused, stopped, maybe they weren't working so well, um, not converting so well. So let's have a look at the uh, the eligible ones you can organize your columns like a spreadsheet by clicking on the top um, and we've got the garage conversion garage conversions garage extension now those are two very different keywords if someone types in garage conversion and sees an advertisement a pay-per-click advertisement for a garage extension um, that's not what they've looked for it's not going to be speaking to them in the right language they, if they type in garage conversion um, they want to see garage conversion um, come up in their ad copy and just show you what I mean here garage conversion whenever I because I put it in as a search term up here whenever I do so the people that have the advertisements as garage conversion in their headline um, come up in bold so it looks much more likely it's much more likely subconsciously or co consciously that I'm going to click on these because it's matching my search terms now um, the ad for space solutions isn't showing there because I think it might be geographically limited but um, and it is only coming up within their area but the point is important if you've got a group if you're targeting garage conversions that's the only sort of ad copy you should be using and if we have a look at the ad here the tabs are all across the top if we go into ads um, and there's only one ad running which uh, is another fatal sin because you have to run ads together but let's just stick on the ad copy now garage conversion is the headline so if someone goes back to that keyword and someone is typing in garage extension um, it's not going to be talking to to them. They're not looking for garage extensions. Um, there's all sorts of spelling issues as well. Um, I think in there. Um, but the the point is, you've got to have very small groups. So I would have a group now. I'd pull out anything that doesn't say garage conversion. I would take out here. So convert garage to bedroom garage extension. I would get rid of those. Um, and I would put them into separate groups for garage extension, garage, and then converting a garage and have them as separate ad groups. So that's the first thing. The second thing I would do, um, and the, let me explain the reason for doing that. The reason is because if you put ads into, so if, if the only two keywords were these two in this group, and they say garage conversion, and my ad copy could talk just about garage conversion, the click through rate here is going to go through the roof. It's going to get much better. Um, and you can see, not surprisingly, that the click-through rate for um, these two is is much higher. The CTR, the click-through rate, so every 100 times the ad is showing for them 6.3% um, for garage conversions and 3.78% click-through. So there's three people clicking through for every 100 times it appears on the top in the top here or on the right-hand side in the pay-per-click ads. Um, so you got to work on getting your click-through rate up so 6.3 is very good um, 3.78 isn't so good and maybe that is just because the the ad in this group is garage conversion maybe it's just not saying enough um, to, to make them click through on it um, so we've got to have small ad groups that's lesson number one the second thing is you've always got to have t at least two advertisements and I think two is the right number two advertisements running against each other um, so you set up a new text ad that runs against this one because you want to always be testing and try and improve the click-through rate and I've got I went back in time for the campaign so you saw six percent there which is the current month whereas I've gone back through the whole campaign just to get some more figures in here um, so we've got a click-through rate overall of 0.17 if we go back and look at this month 
um, click through rate 0.17 um, now what we've got to do is make that work a lot harder it's not producing enough results so we need to make this ad copy in here much more attractive so we click on new text ad um, so garage conversions is the headline and normally what I do is um, I'd always have two running and one of them would be the best performer and that would be the control and then I would run a new one off against that which would be very very similar um, to the ad already running with just some minor changes it might be leading capitals um, it might be uh, just a question mark extra and that's all I test and I'd see what would work better so it might be garage conversion on one garage conversions with a question mark on the other or just garage conversions um, and then ev all the ad copy would stay the same now because this ad isn't performing so well um, what I'd be inclined to do is, is change the ad um, much more severely so that we have one that really um, can provide uh, much better results and I seem to remember let's have a look there's, there's our one at the moment here in position number two so it's it's getting up there now I know we could we can say more and we can get more results um, so let's have a look at let's go on to the page it's being sent to because I know that there were some good unique selling points on there and that's my fault for uh, mistyping so but this is our landing page um, there's not very strong call to action I make them much bigger down here um, and the call to action space should be sort of here phone me call me email me get your free quote um, but look at this there's, there's a little bit of hidden golden copy down here about all their endorsements um, leading independent specialist in the area established in 2001 trading standards approved FMB accredited Trustmark endorsed I mean those to me if I'm getting a conversion with the building trades reputation those are all important things um, so let's try and take some of those and put them into our ad so let's make the first line so we've run out of space there you can see at the end it's showing me I'm running out of space in my ad copy let's go back here F and B accredited so I'm going to have to do some shortening on here I don't think that's going to fit Oh, it does fit. Fantastic. So, trading standards approved, FMB accredited, and Trustmark endorsed. That sounds reasonable to me. It sounds likely that, that it's going to give me some confidence. The other thing you need to do is, <clears throat> again, get a, you've got another chance here to get your, well, to get part of the keyword in there. I can put garage on there. Oh, let's put garages. Um, so that it just stands out, because this is what will actually display. This is This is what you'll see on the page here. Um, so whereas at the moment it just says space solutions you'll see above again wherever garage conversion features it's in bold so they've got the great domain for that what we need to do here is to spruce this up and as you can see below they've got Anglian home slash garage conversion so what we can do is take off from our display one how much have we got on there space solutions if we because we can play with this one just to make it look better Garage conversion, no, I'm not going to fit it. They've got a shorter domain, I'm not going to make it fit, which is a shame. Um, so I just have to go with that. So that, that would be creating a new ad. What I'd do is I'd run that. I want to get probably, let's put that up. I'd want to get probably a thousand impressions and a thousand impressions you can see garage conversion has had 250,000 um, so I want to get a thousand at least um, testing this to see which one starts to perform better um, and see which of the ads runs better and then what we can do um, is we can um, put up a new control ad if, if, get, if the one I've put up starts to convert better we'll delete this one <clears throat> and we'll do a variation on the garage conversion ones to make that work better um, in the meantime what I mentioned to you is there's a lot of keywords in this group that don't talk about garage conversions <clears throat> I would because they're the best performers in the group because they're getting the most clicks you can see here this month they've had 72 and 78 clicks which isn't a surprise bearing in mind what I've told you about the uh, the, the keywords not being in the ad copy I'd, I'd pause the rest and I'd start up um, separate groups with um, the, the correct spelling of keywords. Um, although you know, a good point to make is that so often people do make common typing mistakes um, and you can target that as 
uh, a new keyword because other people miss typing, typing errors and typing errors can get you a great source of cheaper traffic. Now the reason I would do this so small and I might only have two or three keywords in each group is because it allows you to tailor your ad copy to exactly match the keywords. That massively improves your click-through rate which in turn brings down your cost per click and your overall cost and because Google rewards people that do the job well it puts you further up further closer to the top of the search engine so at the moment we're in second if we do this well then hopefully we'll be able to push for first position on some of our advertisements and get first position results whilst actually spending less money just because we've spent time making our ad copy that much better um, so even if you just spent half an hour a week doing this you would start to get better results and um, it can make a massive difference. You spend less money, you get a better position, you get higher click-through rates, you get more people on your website. If you then work on converting those people on your website into more traf into more customers, you've got success. You've got a successful marketing campaign. So I wanted to start off with a very simple run-through of how you can improve your pay-per-click campaign just to give you some ideas to get you going now. We'll come back and we'll look at this and we'll look at other campaigns if you if you want me to give me permission to go into yours happy to do that if you'll let me use it as a demo video um, so you know, there's there's ways of making these campaigns work better for you